Well, let's in fact move on after uh, Mr. Qureshi extended an olive branch to Taliban openly. Now, the Prime Minister of Pakistan has also endorsed the Talibani regime. He is endorsing Taliban takeover. Shockingly, uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan believes that Taliban, in fact, uh, has broken the chains of slavery. The entire world is watching in horror as Afghanistan has been pushed into the dark ages once again. But the Prime Minister of Pakistan believes that uh, of the Talibans, in fact, have broken the chains of slavery. This he is saying at a time when thousands of civilians have been killed, including little children. According to several media reports, over 700 children so far have uh, been victims of uh, the, the forceful take taking over of uh, Taliban and Pakistan after backing Taliban it is remember facing very very serious allegations of being complicit in this war against uh, Afghanistan is extending an olive branch saying we believe in negotiated political talks uh, after uh, backing Taliban they have now the audacity of saying that we want the people of Afghanistan to not just survive but thrive amidst all this this is a response coming in from the Prime Minister of Pakistan endorsing the Taliban takeover. The Prime Minister of Pakistan believes that by taking over Afghanistan forcefully, Taliban in fact has broken the chains of slavery. This is the kind of endorsement and it's clear to the world, evident to the world now, the kind of support and backing that Pakistan is providing to Taliban. Remember, Afghan... Okay, I believe we have uh, that video with us. Let's play it. से ज्यादा ऊंचा है आप एक मुख्तलिफ कल्चर के गुलाम बन जाते हैं जब आप जैनी गुलाम बनते हैं तो यह याद रखें असल गुलामी से ज्यादा बुरी जैनी गुलामी है जैनी गुलामी की जंजीरें तोड़ना ज्यादा मुश्किल होता है जो अभी अफगानिस्तान में गुलामी की जंजीरें तो तोड़ दी उन्होंने लेकिन जो जैनी गुलामी की जंजीरें वो नहीं टूटती वो जो कपड़े पहनते हैं आपको वो पहनने पड़ते हैं उनके सारे फैशन आपको अपनाने पड़ते हैं क्योंकि आप समझते हैं वो बेहतर है आपसे और कभी भी एक गुलाम बड़े काम नहीं कर सकता एक गुलाम जैन क्योंकि दुनिया में जो ऊपर जाते हैं वो सिर्फ इनोवेशन या ओरिजिनल थिंकिंग जाती है जब आप किसी की कॉपी करते हैं आप सिर्फ अच्छी कॉपी कर सकते हैं आप अच्छे गुलाम बन सकते हैं आप उनकी तरह ज्यादा उनके तौर तरीके अपना सकते हैं लेकिन आप उनके आगे नहीं जा सकते लेकिन जब आप इंग्लिश मीडियम में इंग्लिश so you heard uh, the prime minister of pakistan who believes that taliban by taking over afghanistan forcefully and uh, by creating this chaotic situation in Afghanistan actually has broken the chains of slavery. He says that people were living in some uh, sort of a mental slavery in uh, Afghanistan. They have been freed now. And the question is if living under a democratic government, according to the Pakistani prime minister, is following a culture of slavery, then why doesn't he hand over his country to the Taliban to rule? Let's go across to Pradeep Dutta. Now, Pradeep, shocking statement coming in. And what more and what different can you expect from Pakistan? The Prime Minister of Pakistan is endorsing Taliban takeover by saying that they have freed people from slavery. They have broken the chains of slavery. Is that uh, what it is when you live under a democratic rule? You're absolutely right. In fact, uh, this is a shocking statement, obnoxious one, but not surprising because everybody knows the another name of uh, Imran Khan is Taliban Khan. He had been backing Taliban for long. He was the same, the same person who three days back had given a clean shit to Taliban. He said that uh, they had not been involved in any kind of atrocities as if he's blind to the reality. But this is why he's doing so. The reason being that Pakistan is complicit. Whatever the mess right now, the chaos is there, exists in Afghanistan. It's because of Pakistan. They had been providing the military support militarily as well as diplomatically uh, that had encouraged elements like Taliban. In fact, initially also when we saw that Taliban came over to um, Afghanistan, they were able to rule that country for about five years. That time also they had been supporting them from 96 to 2001. And again, the same thing that Pakistan is repeating. Yeah. So uh, so they, 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 are, they are being very happy that the democratically elected government has been thrown by Taliban and they have taken over the charge of the country. Not realizing that it's going to be a Frankenstein monster. Today they are celebrating and calling it a heyday. Tomorrow it's going to be problematic for Pakistan too because 